Hi, this is Margaret from dataminingdna.com and this is how you download your raw DNA from Ancestry. I'm on the home page here. I want to go to the DNA main page. And over here on the right, I'm going to go to settings and just scroll down to the very end. This last section here with actions, this is where you download your raw DNA data. You are asked to put in your Ancestry password again. Click that you understand that you're taking your DNA outside of Ancestry security measures and then click confirm. So now you're going to wait for an email. The email will be the one that's associated with your Ancestry account. Okay, back after a short break. Well, that certainly wasn't instantaneous. Subject being your request to download Ancestry DNA raw data. So the request will expire after seven days, but I'm going to assume that you're going to grab this straight away. Click confirm. And now you can download data. Click the green button here and then wait. You see down here, it is a, what? It's 5.6 meg file. So down it comes. So it's coming down in zip format. It goes into your downloads folder. I'll just show in folder here. And here it is, a zip file. Keep it zipped, so if you want to look inside, it's a large TXT file, which is human readable. Right, so what you want to do is keep this in a secure place. Right, so I'm going to move it from my downloads folder into a dedicated folder. And now I can use this particular file to upload my DNA to other websites that accept external DNA files, including, for example, my heritage. And this is a walkthrough of uploading my DNA from Ancestry to my my heritage account. So I've already downloaded my DNA from Ancestry. I've got it sitting in this folder here. It's a came down as a zip file, so keep it as a zip file. I'm logged into my free my heritage account. So up here in the DNA menu, click on upload DNA data. Here, just click start. It's asking who, whose DNA are, are you uploading? In my case, it is my own. I've read the terms of service. I confirm that I'm not law enforcement. Interesting one here. I don't think that was there the first time I uploaded my DNA to my heritage, which would have been back in 2017, which was before the Golden Killer case made the general public aware that law enforcement were using DNA websites to, to investigate their cases. But anyway, click on confirm that. I've read the DNA informed consent agreement. Click upload. And now I just upload my kit. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to put a second DNA kit up onto my heritage. It just would mean that from my DNA matches, they get to see me twice, which is kind of annoying. I know it's annoying for me. But just be aware that once you've uploaded it, it can take uh, two days or so before you actually start to see DNA matches appear. That just requires, you know, their databases need to be indexed. So you just wait a few days and you will see your DNA matches start to appear.